Hicks. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, just off the flight line, Bill Hicks. All right, man. Good evening, everyone. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've had more people in bed before than this. Fuck, man. <laughs> Back they were at the hotel and left. I left them to come here and do this. Don't I feel like a fucking idiot? <laughs> Y'all don't. Okay. This could be one of my last performances, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this week. I'm serious. I've had it. 16 years. I've pounded my head against the uh, mentality of America, which I, I I ascribe to about. I'd say it's about an eighth grade emotional level that we're at as a country. And. Uh, you're doubting that? You don't think so? Really? Okay. Well, anyway. You know, go watch Who's the Boss and then we'll chat later. I, uh, please don't debate me. It's my one true talent, okay? I have 23 hours a day to develop these little webs of fucking conspiracy. So please, relax and enjoy your hair. Ow! <laughs> And your little cracker spawn are back at the hotel, choking down the mini bar contents, probably fucking each other and producing more little crackers to come fuck with my life. You inbred redneck hillbilly fucking tourist you. Good evening. How are you tonight? Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to No Sympathy Night. Welcome to You're Wrong Night. Boy, I'm in a mood. You know, it could be this haircut. Every time I look at my hair, I go, fuck it, someone needs to die. <laughs> Generally, I think it's me, but uh, I, I don't have the balls to do it. So. so I continue to walk around with my hair. Okay, shut up. Shut the fuck up. Fucking morons. You fucking morons. And God wept, I believe, is the next word. <laughs> as did the world, as more knobby-kneed white guys walk the planet with their black nylon fucking socks, their fat fucking tick-like wives, and their little fat fucking hateful children. Walk in the doorway, it's a doorway movie! Uh, 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 we're on vacation. We're on a mental fucking vacation is what you're on, pal. Try waking up and enjoying the life you've chosen, okay? Instead of calling your travel agent and getting the big budget deal. It's a t-shirt nirvana. I am your herder. Kneel in front of me. You and I chat politics on your fucking porch while your wife wiggles a fucking dong and fucks her own pussy with it. You fucking redneck hillbilly piece of shit, you. Fuck America. If that's America, then fuck you too. Good evening, everyone. How are y'all? Good? Everyone good? Welcome to my show of hate. Moo. Moo. A couple of cows are getting arrogant out there. Moo. Moo. Come on, Shep. Get that one cow. He's leaving the pack. Move. Go back to the herd, moron, okay? <laughs> Fucking idiots. I have this weirdest style, don't I? I, I <laughs> Phil, you, you do a little joke that's kind of funny, then you start telling us you hate us, and you dig a fucking hole. Where's Bill going? He's going to comedy death. Boom, he popped out of it with another joke. It's my particular style. I just, it's okay. It's all been done in, uh, in hate. Now... <laughs> I am like the angry sheep herder. That's what I am. I'm ranting under the stars with my herd. Sheep, Bill, are you talking to us? I'm talking metaphorically about America, right? Not y'all. I give y'all more credit. I assume that you're uh, enjoying this, or if not, at least emotionally involved, which is important, even if it's anger. <laughs> really? It's okay, man. That's what this is all about, man. It's supposed to be a fucking catharsis, man, you know? It's supposed to be released from the fucking daily grind. Should work for me. I'm <laughs> killing me. Join me.
folks, it's time to evolve ideas. We, you know, evolution did not end with us growing thumbs. You do know that, right? <laughs> didn't end there. We're at the point now where we, we're going to have to evolve ideas. The reason the world's so fucked up is we're undergoing evolution. And the reason our institutions, our traditional religions are all crumbling is because they're no longer relevant. <laughs> they, they're no longer relevant. So it's time for us to create a new philosophy and perhaps even a new religion, you see. And that's okay, because that's our right, because we are free children of God with minds who can imagine anything. And that's kind of our role. <laughs> How do you evolve ideas? I'll give you an example right here. By the way, there are more dick jokes coming. Please relax. <laughs> I know I'm starting to lose them a little bit here with this shit. I'm like digging a fucking hole right now. And another thing. Where the hell did Bill go? He dug himself right through the planet. I hear people heckling in Chinese right now. Why, why you don't do dick jokes? Do dick jokes, when crawl back. No one wants to hear your philosophy, they want to hear dick joke. Wow, what a completely rational heckler. Hmm. They pay to hear dick joke, not to hear you talk about the President Bush. Here's how you evolve an idea, I'll give you an example. Why is the drug czar of this country, well, let's go back. Why do we have a drug czar in this country? A. B, why is he a cop? Why isn't he a guy in recovery who's had an alcohol and or drug addiction and overcome it? And why doesn't he help people with the same problem with compassion rather than condemnation? Why do we put people who are on drugs in jail? They're sick, they're not criminals. Sick people don't get healed in jail. See, it makes no sense. <laughs> and if we evolve the idea, you see, the planet might be more compassionate and something like heaven might dawn. <laughs> I want everyone here to take the five dried grams I taped under your all chairs right now. <laughs> under your chairs, check them out. Check them out, under your chair. Let's go, man. The fucking UFOs are waiting in the fifth dimension. Let's go. We'll do it later. We'll do it as a closer. <coughs> oh, shit. Mushrooms grow naturally on the planet. They're against the law. Marijuana grows naturally on the planet. It's against the law. Do you think making nature against the law seems a bit, I don't know, unnatural? 